Um, so our theory is that um, the consumer electronics market is evolving and it's becoming more and more PC-like that the two are converging and that connected entertainment is the result. The fact that the experiences that you've sort of grown comfortable with, music, photography, uh, television and movies are all becoming digital and that an ecosystem is emerging with us in the lead to sort of build out a whole home, frankly a an out-of-home experience where you can find it, you know, you can record it, you can store it, you can stream it, you can share it, you can basically enjoy all of this uh, this stuff that's personal to you or suits your personal interest without fear or without concern about kind of format and place and just uh, you know creates an opportunity to sort of enjoy and share the things that you love the most without worrying about what underlies or the technology that underlies. So, uh, in other words, if I have a favorite TV program uh, back home in Latvia, and here I am, and all I have is a, piece, uh, a, a laptop or a portable device, mm -hmm. I could get it streamed to me mm -hmm. given the right uh, connection. Sure, so for Just instance... Just from a home server. Yeah. For instance, right, a perfect example, if you have a media center PC that can record that program back in Latvia, the media smart server, which will be released uh, in the United States, and, and we haven't announced uh, sort of all the other locations yet, but um, it would be able to record or back up that, pro that program, and then here, wherever you were with an, an internet connection, you'd be able to access that program and stream it. So, the media spot server basically is going to be the uh, uh, sort of the time shifted entertainment uh, storage device, which so, you can then access, record anytime, access anytime. Sure, so that's a good example. I actually have a slide that talks about uh, HDTV 1.0, HDTV 2.0. And one of the sort of critical ideas is that time shift sort of emerged in the first generation. Place shift is what is what is emerging in the second generation. So remove that geographical boundary. And here in the United States, you could watch programs back in Latvia without really worrying about anything in terms of... Or if uh, one of my uh, family here in the U.S. had uh, one of these gadgets at home, I could watch American programming over a fast internet link in, in Europe. Um, yes, as long as the program's recorded, right? So if you're, yeah. if you're DVRing a, a show, yes, you can, right. you can be able to enjoy that show wherever you are. So basically this is going to be an enormous storage device. It's going to be, you know, in, in a terabyte class because you're talking, especially if you're talking about HD content. Mm -hmm. So it, it will have a variety of different configurations, but yes, it will have a, a very significant amount of storage and it'd be greatly expandable. And the, the mission is to make it simple for you to sort of protect all the content you already have, things like your photo library, add new content very easily so that you can build a library of, uh, of maybe things you want to watch once and then delete or things you want to keep forever and be able to enjoy that basically from any screen in the house or on the road if you're traveling. Right. So this is going to be like something like a TiVo on, on, on steroids with many other new functions. Well, yeah, m much more than that. But, but yeah, one of the core things you will be able to do with, with DVR programs from a media center PC would be store them and watch them throughout your home or wherever you can log into the server. Plus, you could also store normal uh, PC type stuff on it. Absolutely. So I mean, the, if we have a home budget or sure. we have... Uh, sure. The, the server will protect any computer that you connect to it. So basically, it connects to your network. You tell it that these computers are computers I want to back up the material on and on a regular schedule that you set, it will find any changes so it doesn't do a full backup of the system over and over again taking up all the storage space. It looks for incremental backup so it will keep all your stuff protected without you really having to think about it and it also frees you from the limitations of having things on a computer. So for instance the Media Smart TV will see the Media Smart server as a source of content so that you can watch slideshows of your photos in high definition or viewed through a high definition screen. You can play your digital music. You can uh, you know, watch video either recorded television like we were talking about earlier or also a movie that you might buy and download. Okay, great, thanks.